in this section, we're going to be using the seven point walk around to look at the external features on the DAF CF. And some of these features will be incorporated into your daily vehicle checks. First things first, walking up to the vehicle, make sure that it's sitting square and there's no evidence of any fluid leaks underneath. To access the windscreen and check the wipers, this is made easy by the three steps and the two grab handles. Either side of the grill is located two towing eyes. Simply remove the cover and the plug and insert the towing pin which is located in the external side locker. Moving down to the main headlight cluster, we have combined daytime running lights and side lights. And the main headlight, this could be a halogen bulb or long life LED, which will give you maximum output of light for minimum energy use. Moving down, you've got the fog lights and the low level cornering lights. And the low level cornering lights, they activate at low speeds with the lights on. And they will illuminate only the area that you're turning into. Now it's worth remembering this because somebody may mention to you that you have a bulb out. Looking up you have the roof lights and these work in conjunction with the main beam to give you added visibility of the road ahead. Release the catch to open the grill and here you can clearly see the filler point for both the coolant and the oil. The point for the screen wash is located behind the door on the co-driver's side. To unlock the vehicle, press and hold this button once. The light sequence will go through and this will unlock the driver's door. If you wish to unlock the driver's door and the passenger door in conjunction, you would press and hold and before the light sequence ends, you would press and hold for a count of two. To lock the vehicle, use this button here and press and hold and this will lock both doors simultaneously as well as close any of the windows which may be open. To check the lights, whether you are coupled or solo, press here for a count of two and the light checking sequence will engage. To cancel this out, again press and hold for the count of two. It's worth remembering that if you haven't opened either the driver's or the passenger door within 30 seconds of unlocking, it will self-lock. Fill a point for washer fluid. And to open the external storage locker, simply pull this catch here. Inside the locker, you'll find a tool roll along with the towing pin. And here you have the cab tilt pump and remember to store away any loose items before you tilt the cab. Now whether you have a right hand or a left hand drive vehicle, both the screen wash and the cab tilt pump are always located on the curb side or the co-driver's side for safety. Continuing down the side of the vehicle, we have the AdBlue tank, clearly identified by the blue cap. We have the grab handle and sturdy steps to give us access to the catwalk. Moving down, checking the security of the lockable fuel cap. Taking in tyre condition and wheel security. Moving round to the back, checking the lights and lenses. And here you can see we've got a sliding fifth wheel. And this allows us to close the gap between the unit and the trailer to maximise our aerodynamics. Moving down, we've got the battery cover. Good idea not to stand on this. Directly below this, we have a remote connection point direct to the battery. Moving down the off side of the vehicle, again, checking tyre condition and wheel security. Before starting your journey, it really is worth checking the air filter indicator, as this could cause problems further on down the road. Below this, we have the coupling light, and should you forget to switch this off, it will automatically turn itself off at speeds of above 25 miles an hour. Moving across, we have the Suzy stowage, and this is going to keep the Suzy's nice, clean and tidy. And above this, you can see that we have a cautionary warning. And this is just reminding you not to step on or touch the catwalk should a regeneration be taking place. Below this, we've got the engine after treatment system with the diffuser down at the bottom.